we would like to show you our idea of how dashboard could work on iPhone. To activate dashboard, use a triple pinch gesture anywhere in the interface. This could also be set as the action that is performed when you double tap the home button. To exit dashboard, either use the spread gesture or press the home button. Widgets have to be quite big in order to be finger friendly. This means that it could potentially cover something you wanted to see in the background. Tap and hold on any of the space around your widget and you will see the background layer. A widget can be placed anywhere on the screen. To move it, tap and hold. When it starts to wiggle, you can drag it around to place it. Since the space for widgets is so limited, you can have multiple pages of widgets. Compared to the home screen though, you can scroll freely. This offers greater flexibility in positioning the widgets and lets you more quickly find the one you are looking for. To add more space for your widgets, tap and hold and drag it to the edge. More space equal to that of one additional screen is added. If you move the widget back closer to the other widgets, the empty space to the left of the widget is removed. To add or remove widgets, tap the edit button. Each widget now has a close button and the dock with all widgets slides up. You can still scroll the widget canvas in edit mode. Tap the close button to remove a widget. All widgets are housed in the dashboard dock. Swipe on top of the icons like you would on the home screen to switch page. Third party widgets have a close button so you can uninstall them. To add a new widget, drag it out of the dock and onto the dashboard. For additional thoughts about this concept, please read the info on YouTube. Ocean Observations is a Swedish design company working worldwide. If you have something to share with us, send us an email to hello at oceanobservations.com. My name is Max, thanks for watching, bye.